That sounded like... What? Your... Your... I don't even want to hear it. It sounded exactly like... Your mom. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions. You did some Corbin. I'm frustrated. And you follow us on Instagram it's and Twitter for juicy content. It's they go so on Patreon. Follow us stupid account ring bell going on the game squad. And follow us on personal YouTube channels. Links right down there in the description. If you'd like to see more different stuff. Yeah. What? What was it? You sounded exactly like Tom Hulse in Amadeus. That's a weird reference there. Rick. His laugh. His the, his little laugh. Not the full, oh, the big, I can't yeah. even do it. But when he, he would occasionally oh. go, it was the exact same tonality. Anyway, hi everybody. <laughs> Anyways, now that Rick's paying attention, uh, today we are doing a movie review because we do those often, regardless of what some of you think. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen a lot of stupid babies come to our defense. Yeah, it's like they we really do have. So many. It's like they talked about one other channel who's done like five movie reviews in the history of their channel. It's yeah. Like we do two a week. So exactly. Suck son. my left hiney so hole. So one week what? we don't have a review. Forgive. I know. While well, you were busy in a I way. Was busy. Come on. So give me a break. Anyways, Anyways, today we are doing a movie review. Long awaited. I think we reacted to this over a year ago for sure. I think we probably reacted to the trailer for this not long after we watched PK because she was yeah, in PK, PK sure. right? But this is uh, obviously one of the first things we've seen of Ayushka Sharma yes. outside of PK. Correct. But we've seen her stuff that she's produced a lot, like Patalok yes. and, and other things like that. So we know her style, uh, but this is um, this is directed by, in H10 is what we're watching, obviously. Um, it's Navdeep Singh. Yes. Who also did that um, Jack Sparrow... Um, Saifa Ali Khan film yes. that we didn't see yet. Yes, but uh, that's the one I know. Just because I like to make you guys mad. Yeah, uh, but it's also uh, produced by um, Anya Kashyap, which I didn't realize before I started watching it. But then I now recognize his logo, the logo, the yeah, the Phantom logo. And I was like, oh, cool. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, had t I too. I had, didn't know that Anya was involved until the Phantom logo yeah. popped up. I'm like, oh. And then obviously Yushka Sharma and and uh, Neil. Uh, Bupalam, Bupalam, who we've seen. Have we? Yes. I was trying to place him while I was watching him because we have seen him before. Have we? Uh, and I'm trying to remember where it was, and I didn't do that. wasn't part of my homework. For I didn't this. think we had seen I've him. I've seen his face before. No, I don't think we've seen him. In nothing, not even a TV show. No. He wasn't in something like Deli Belly or mm -mm. no. No. Well, he just looked familiar to me then. Wow, well, racist. Oh well. Racist. Hey. <laughs> What the heck? <laughs> Anyways, 100% spoiler review because that's how we like to do it. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. It's a short film. Come back and then you will uh, see our review. Uh, so, Rick, initial thoughts. Which stupid babies do. I love that you guys do that. Yeah. You, get, you, know, you get the messages that say, I did stop it. I went and watched. Thank you. And it's a thrill, truly, the messages that we get regularly from you that say, thank you so much for opening my eyes to the broader world of Indian cinema. That makes me so freaking happy. Yeah. I know it does you too. Okay, so I got a, a paragraph. Good. Deep breath. An engaging and frustrating, I need to explain the frustrating. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. An engaging and frustrating movie whose greatest attributes are its strong performances by its actors, most yeah. especially Anushka Sharma, yeah. and its extraordinarily important subject matter of quote unquote honor killing. We're gonna change yeah. the terminology for that. Yeah. However, NH10, uh, like too many theatrical releases in India, suffers from another type of violence in the name of moral high ground, and that's the censorship. violence of censorship. We're going to talk about that, and it's going to be interesting. So there you go. <laughs> but you initially enjoyed it, correct? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ultimately, all in all, I enjoyed the film. I and I, I think I those I actually have probably the same issues probably you had, uh, and it wasn't most most of it wasn't the film's fault. No, um, not at all. But yeah, I I thought it was actually a really good thriller. Yeah, it was like I jumped. Me and my wife jumped at certain points, mm -hmm. and it, it like especially towards the end. And I got so she, annoyed. Yeah, sorry. You were saying especially towards, towards the, end. the end. You know when she was going all like badass woman mm -hmm. and, and just murdering, murdering them all. I loved it. Yeah, it was, uh, I felt I felt a level of Kahani yeah. happiness, and I loved it. Uh, and but yeah, then also the the overall message of how. Uh, certain parts of India, in all parts, including her husband, treat women. Yes. Uh, you know, he at one point was even saying, like, um, oh, you women can't read maps. Yep. And I was like, okay. Right. <laughs> That's one way to a treat your bit, wife. A little bit revealing there. Uh, 
<laughs> so honestly, I wasn't mad that he died. <laughs> I wasn't, but well, and I, I wasn't for some other reasons. Yeah, yeah. I'll but, tell you what those are. In but a uh, initially, I, I really enjoyed the film. I thought it was yeah. a really good film. It's I think most um, Americans could probably watch this film and enjoy this film. It's one of those that's it's easily enjoyed. It's, a, it's an easy watch. You don't need to know much outside of you might need to understand what an honor an honor killing. Yeah, is. it's actually now that you mention it. For as much as, and we'll get into this in a yeah, second, we'll the thing. censorship thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will say in its current format. It does function well as an introduction to this topic for people who would like their kids to know about this subject matter but not dive into something so heavy that they're traumatized by it. Mm -hmm. And it depends on the kid. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. so like, there, there's some, some kids, by the time they're 13, 14, they can watch anything that you're going to show them and they won't be affected by it. Yeah, yeah. There's some others that are going to be really sensitive. Mm -hmm. this, is a, this is a good film in that regard. But as far as yeah. really showing it to yeah. you... Yeah, we'll, we'll get into it. We'll we'll get into but uh, let's talk about Ayushka Sharma because this is one yeah. of the first things outside of PK that we've actually seen her in. How do yeah. you, what do you? I, I first of all, it shows you how much I liked her in PK. Yeah. When it's no, uh, it's no secret that I PK is one of my favorite films I've seen. Yeah. Uh, and one of those reasons is because of her. I thought she was really delightful. She's got a great screen presence. She's emotionally available, and this took it up a complete other notch. Yeah. Uh, this is a hard. Uh, this is a hard type of film to do where you're in a heightened state of, of trauma the whole time yeah. and be believable. Mm -hmm. It's exhausting, first of all. Very. Uh, <laughs> and I also f I read up, you may have seen this, that all of the physical work she did herself. She did all of her own stunt oh, really? work. That's yep. great. All of her own stunt work. She actually got hurt doing it, just bumps and bruises and had to go to the hospital and get checked for some stuff. But oh, she's cool. like... Good for her. I agree. So, I, yeah, I ultimately... For me, she's my favorite thing about the film, yeah. other than the subject matter. Yeah, yeah. I, I think she carried the film well. 100%. Yeah, I like her a lot. And uh, we've heard that. Is that yeah, she, she was, was really probably good. one of the most underrated actors for us because we've explored a bunch of other actresses and we hadn't explored her very much yet. Um, but it wasn't because we had any personal vendettas just we hadn't gotten to I it yet. It. Yeah. Uh, so sorry about that. Just like, uh, Manoj, it's like, right. It's not because we hated the guy. We love the guy. He's a phenomenal actor. We just hadn't gotten to him yet. Exactly. It takes us a while guys. We're trying, there's a lot of films in India. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we've, a, we a haven't lot of even, films in India. We're, we haven't even gotten to a hundred films yet. Mm -hmm. And, and India produces 2000 a year. So we're catching up. We are catching you know, baby steps. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I thought, um, what's his name? Neil did. He did good. Not not great. Um, I, I thought he was. He did fine. He was, he was well. He did. He, he did a solid job. He was solid, but, but his, his character. Okay. Yeah, I didn't. Hey, let's talk about. Okay, first of all, everybody. He's an idiot. Let's yeah. Let's, <laughs> let's talk about a couple things he did that just straight up pissed me off. And when I say this, I'm not talking about Neil the actor. I'm talking about the way the movie was written. Mm -hmm. This guy is an absolute freaking moron. <laughs> he uh, is I, a moron. <laughs> I just, the, the whole ego thing. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought, you're going to jeopardize your freaking wife's life over your ego. And here's a note to all of you. Do not, I repeat, do not brandish a firearm unless your intention is to kill with it. <laughs> it's not something you wave around to scare people with. That's like rule number one in firearm training is you take, it's a lethal weapon. You use it for lethal force. It's not a, a thing to scare people with. You only take it out because you're going to freaking use it. So that really pissed me off. <laughs> then how about this one? Which one? They tumble down the hill. He runs the other way. <laughs> he did. You freaking... <laughs> it was at that point I was, I was like, like oh, okay, that's, okay that's one oh, way to oh and took the gun oh yeah <laughs> and took the gun <laughs> she saved him so many times I know uh, but yeah there's oh. um, so obviously he was trying to <laughs> which that whole thing obviously with the in the town that they were in and where honor killings are a big deal right yeah. um, he was trying to stand up and I was like okay that's that's good right trying right. to stand up which you have to be careful with yeah, in those do. situations. But there's times you shouldn't step yeah. in. Yeah. Um, but, you know, he's, he's doing that. But then he goes after them when there's about ten of them. Yeah, seriously. And one of him. And I was like, okay, what logical person would do that? <laughs> An idiot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and so if that's the point that they were trying to get across, that this guy it, was an egotistical, like, idiot. It worked. It worked. Yeah. Because, like, he made you mad. He was like, okay, what? 
freaking moron. Seriously. <laughs> uh, but then, yeah, and then he obviously some stuff he said to his wife, and then um, so, so certain stuff. I just his character was annoying, um, which and, means you did a good job. Neil. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I'm glad he died though. Uh, <laughs> I, I wasn't glad in terms of her loss. Mm. As far as the character, it was kind of like, well, dude, what did you expect? was gonna happen to you yeah you created this whole situation out of your idiocy mm -hmm. um, I was sad for her and it didn't surprise me he looked like he was going when she left oh yeah, yeah. I was when she, when she left him I was like no he's, he's gonna, gonna bleed out minute you one don't Let, remove, don't remove the knife. yeah that was the other thing if you ever get stabbed leave it in whatever it is pencil <laughs> because the, it actually stops the bleeding it with the minute you pull it out the it starts to gush yeah so that that's actually what killed Steve Irwin. Yeah, he pulled it out. He panicked. If he had left the stinger in, they might have been able to surgically remove it. So that's a big, it's hard to do. Your natural instinct is get it out, get it yeah. out. But yeah, don't take it out. Anyway, yeah. Don't say it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the, um, aside from that, I felt like all of the other, like the bad guys. Oh yeah, I thought, especially the main one. I thought the main really, dude really did a great, great I, what job. Is, what is his name? He did a really good job. I felt like the was that the, autistic guy actually autistic? Because I thought he did really. He well did too. really well as well. If he's not autistic, he did really, really well. Yeah, uh, everybody did. The, the the mom who was the chief of the village, I thought was strong in her role. I think this is him. It is Say Darshan it. Kumar. Darshan Kumar. Yeah, he was very believable as that that guy. Well, he's in the uh, the Family Man, the series. Oh, cool. Uh, with uh, Manoj, which I know a lot of people want us to watch. Uh, but yeah, he did great. He job. did really, really well. Believe uh, him, hundred percent. I liked all the bad guys. I thought all, all the bad guys did really well. The mm -hmm. whole world they were trying to, to build, um, they did, I think, a good job at. Yep. Um, obviously, the parts that we had a problem with, you could tell this was highly censored. Uh, in terms of, I, I, it would surprise me if you talked to Yushka Sharma and she didn't tell you that they censored the crap out of this. 100%. Uh, because I was, I liked it, but honestly, I wanted more gore, bloody, the way it should have been. Like if you, Ramen Rog of 2.0. Yeah, if you, gangs, if you, even gangs, go full fledged release. into a guy's face that's sitting down, you should see blood squirting. And his skull should be crushed. And when he shoots Pinky in the head, yeah, oh, at yeah. that close it's, of a range, oh yeah, it should be the back of her head would have blown out. Yeah, there should have it should, it should have been as graphic as Pato Lopes. So it, it could have been two things. It could have been budget as well. Mm. Uh, I don't know what their budget was for this, yeah. obviously. And so if you don't have the budget, you can't make everything look as cool or as good as you want. But there were certain points where they you know pulled away at, at certain times. I I would have loved to have seen more of that like. Gore. Uh. Well, and even <laughs> even things like this, we've talked about this over and over again. The ridiculousness of smoking kills. Yeah. Uh, drinking is injurious to your health. Yeah. And even subtitles being censored. That's so. Uh, it's so stupid, and it really is a problem. Mm -hmm. It's probably something we can talk about because we could go at length about it. But it really is an issue in theatrical released. You wonder why everyone we've talked to prefers. Mm -hmm. Stuff that goes on OTP. I guarantee if it was on like Amazon or Netflix, yes. you'd, you would have seen all of it. Because the artistry, and we can, this is a long topic that I've yeah. done some research and homework on, but let's just say there really needs to come a monumental change in this regard for theatrical released films and why they're censored and what that censorship is doing to artistry. Yeah, go one. Um, if you censor a bad word, I still know what that bad word is. So is it, is it less worse if you think the bad word? I'm confused. Uh, <laughs> two, like, I, oh, geez, it's so annoying. Any censorship of any art is awful. Especially, and there's some of you who aren't going to like this, don't care. Art should never be censored by government. No, 100% no. Government should have any place in art. And that's the, that is the biggest problem, is that we, we, we're dealing with a situation where, in America, the rating system, it's not a censorship board, it's a trade union. It's a private organization that they created- They don't tell it. you what to take out of your film at all. They just Correct. say, this is the rating we have to give you if you want to play it. Right, and if you, it, here, show us your film, here's the rating it has, based on the criteria, and they'll change it. If that's the big, you know, the whole industry votes on it, they'll mm -hmm. change that. 
And it's why they created the NC-17 rating and few people make NC-17s because it's superfluous. But the bottom line is that is an industry trade union, not a government entity. Mm -hmm. And there's way too many things wrong about government censorship of art. Yeah. We, uh, it's, you can get a doctoral thesis created on that topic. Yeah. Uh, and it's, that's, that's, it's just, I don't you know could, how that's ever going to change. You could tell that it was, if, if it wasn't, I'd be extremely surprised. Because you could tell at some points they yes. wanted to wanted to do more. show show you more, yeah, um, to bring that impact. Yes, but I think they got cut or they got told no or they got and it's whatever. And it doesn't make any sense to me because, like, I know for example, some of the things that the board uh, prohibits mm -hmm. are things like, for example, uh, children being abused. Mm -hmm. Okay, I understand that to a certain degree. You don't want to go anywhere near something as as evil as child pornography. But if you're going to deal with the abuse of children mm -hmm. as slaves or child abuse, mm -hmm. uh, you can't depict that mm -hmm. realistically. Doesn't mean you have to be gratuitous. Mm -hmm. But again, the deeper core, regardless of whether or not you agree or disagree with the, the way things are being censored, I just, and I know you agree with me, mm -hmm. government shouldn't be involved in art. 100% no. That's, that's the bottom line on that. They have no place. Nope. <laughs> that's it's, that's oppression. Yeah. Um, the... The other thing, which is the most important thing about this, is the subject matter, mm -hmm. which is been around for thousands of years, and I wish there was a way it could be solved. Yeah. Because uh, it's... Honor killings? Yeah. Which, there's no honor in it. No. 100%. Uh, I'm guessing this part of India, because obviously this is based off of a real highway. Yeah, um, and these are based off of real events. It's not a true story, yeah. but some of the events depicted are actually real events. And so, it's obviously, in certain parts of India, this happens right. more than others. Right. But this is depicting one of those areas that it happens in, and sometimes even the cops are in on it, as they show. Yep. Uh, which is ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> as is, as is one of the worst things that can be done in situations like this is people might think they're doing a good thing by bringing the person back to their family, and that's the exact opposite place they need to go. Uh, I've watched some documentaries on this topic that were done in different countries, and it's, um, it's an issue that the only way it can be changed is to change an entire community's belief system that they've had in place culturally or as a tribe for literally centuries. Um, and much of it is not um, religious in origin, mm -hmm. but it does have religious overtones. Yeah. But there's, there isn't any, like, um, you, you can find certain things that are interpreted as, as, as whatever scripture you would be referring to. They can, they can be misinterpreted mm -hmm. as that way, but there's nothing definitively that I've ever read or seen that you can draw from that is what is definitively an honor killing, which an honor killing, which I hate the term, uh, is, is this idea that the only thing a female is for is, the, is a repository of the family's lineage and honor. And if anything happens to that female repository that is dishonoring to the family in any way, the family has a responsibility to rid themselves of the shame of the, as if it was just like, uh, you know, this bowl and oh we have, there's poop in it let's let's throw it out mm -hmm. I mean that's literally the way it's the mentality is yeah. and it, to change it it terrifies me to think that it's gone on for centuries and I how do you change that no idea and it was what they talked about obviously because um, with obviously the caste system I think the guy said if there wasn't a caste system we wouldn't all be divided and mm -hmm. there'd be no way to you know stop everybody in this in that part yeah of the that's system. and that's a whole that's other a whole another thing. thing but obviously the people that and then we saw it for the non-coverage in assam basically a lot of the news coverage covers mumbai and it covers delhi yes it covers the like, the big cities and right. it doesn't really care it doesn't no. even make the news no uh, not only does the media not cover those areas but as you said the laws there's a great line in the film where it says Electricity and power don't reach here. What makes you think the Constitution will? Mm. Yikes. And that's, that's, that's how they line. feel. It's that's a great a, line. That's a great line. And, and the reality about this, I did some research. The United Nations most recent reporting is approximately 5,000. And these are the ones that are freaking reported. So let's triple or quadruple the stat. Mm -hmm. 
5,000 reported, quote unquote, honor killings, deaths, not just mutilations, deaths a year. That's, I did the math on that, and that comes out to approximately one every 90 minutes to two hours that are reported and that aren't, that aren't just attacks because there's acid attacks, there's genital mutilation, and one fifth of those have come from India. Mm -hmm. Hey, they happen here too. Mm. There was one in Arizona where a dad ran over his daughter and killed her because she was becoming too westernized. So this whole concept is, is an important thing to bring to light, but like so many movies we watch, the people who need to see it the most will never see it at all. Yeah, and I thought uh, Navdeep did a great job um, tying in all that as best he could. Right, with, I, with the I, don't the know how, I don't even know how, how much more the censor board took out. That's not just with the violence and the... So right. He could, have, he could have been trying to say a bigger message that they were like, don't, don't, don't put that in because they're, they're allowed to do that. Um, yeah, they can... They, uh, the bottom line is, the, when it comes to theatrical releases, the censorship board has the final say on the, on the artistic expression, period. That's what it is. Like Uda, Uda Punjab had like 99 edits made to it because of the censorship board. Yeah, and uh, I think I heard they're trying to get into the OTT platforms, but obviously Amazon and Netflix Amazon and Netflix will like, never no, let that happen. No, that's not. <laughs> what the scary thing that could happen is if it stays in that direction, if there comes this fight between government censorship and freedom of expression on OTP platforms, you could find it going the way of China. Yeah. Where China says, we're not letting it in. Period. Yeah. Hopefully it doesn't come to that. Yeah, I hope so. Hopefully the censorship board just gets taken away. Uh, anyways, it's not a rant about the censorship board. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, it's partial. Well, partial, partial rant. Partial, partial rant. rant. I mean, don't, don't get me wrong. I hate them. Yeah, but the larger, the larger issue that it brings to is so frustrating because um, it's an important movie in that it does talk about it and there aren't a lot of movies talking about this issue. And I feel like she did a really good job. Mm -hmm. uh, he, the director and her and Anya Kashyap as the producer did a, as best a job as they could and yeah, <laughs> I think maybe they just see Anya Kashyap attach anything and they're like, yeah, I'm going to send that down. Stop that. <laughs> Not with him involved. Uh, <laughs> but I also was a little frustrated by some of the things that weren't but like at the end I love that she ran everybody down but that one moron running in it, that she was chasing slowly all he had to do was like jump up on the stairs yeah or jump up on the or car or jump when she came up she was like get, I said to the TV get on her hood man <laughs> yeah yeah I, I said the same thing I was like you can just jump on her hood jump on her hood he went by a section that just had a little thing of stairs to his left and like went up two feet and like What's she gonna do? Clip her knee with her rear view? Just yeah. get up on the steps. So. I did like the mentality she got into that. I did. I, I, I set that aside. I wanted her to kill the mother too, though. I wanted her to kill everybody. Yeah, yeah. Kill, kill the mother because that little girl doesn't want to be there. She even said it. She wanted to leave with her sister. Yeah. So get that little girl and her sister out of there. Yep. And and kill the mother. <laughs> <laughs> kill them all. Kill them all. Anyways, it was great. I enjoyed that. Film. I enjoyed it uh, too. Let us know what next uh, Anushka Sharma uh, film we should watch uh, down below. I know she produces a ton. She does, and her her attachment to Pata Lok is encouraging. I think, um, you know, like we for the two things, you know, she reminds me of quite a bit. Her screen presence and her capacity as an actor. She reminds me a lot of Vidya. Yeah, for sure. Right. Mm -hmm. Very similar uh, yeah. person, and just so this was hats off to you for what is a really. Uh, you made it look easy. This was not an easy role. This was a very demanding role to have to stay at that level of, of stress yeah. for that long. Yeah, so not ultimately a really good movie. Good stuff. Let us know what we should watch and review next down below.